This program is intended for mature audiences only and contains strong or potentially offensive language of an adult and sexual nature. So, listener discretion advised. The views and opinions expressed on the Curvaceous Bounty of Sin City do not reflect those of Vegas All Net Radio or its affiliates. All music, stories, and characters are the sole property of their creators and are protected under international copyright laws. Sierra, Alexia, Mama, and Sweet Cheeks are personalities put on for your entertainment. The stories are real. The language is explicit. The behavior is unbelievable. If you can't take the heat, get the fuck out of the kitchen. Watch out for Blasting to you straight out of Las Vegas, Nevada, it is the curvaceous bounty of Sin City, starring Sierra, Sweet Cheeks, Alexia, and Mama. Good evening, Las Vegas, and people around the world, and all those motherfuckers in Zimbabwe. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Toxie. You know what, Toxie, for your first thing on the show, you made us laugh. So that's a very good thing. Hey, y'all, um, you're listening to Curvaceous Bounty of Sin City. I just want to tell you who's in studio now before we start bantering. First of all, we have our cock block expert, should we call him? Contributor. Or contributor or cock block um, king and his lovely wife. <laughs> Rodney LaCroix and Carrie. Hello, guys. What is short for intoxicated? <laughs> Came up to me at the Red Label last week and she said, Why don't you ever on a show? <laughs> And I said, well, I never really knew you wanted to be on the show. I'm really fucking funny, okay? No, not yet. <laughs> not, not yet. yet. <laughs> oh, you will, because they'll start calling you names. Like, they call me bitch and whore and... That's because Old you woman. are. <laughs> Old woman. She hasn't proven herself to be anything other than a drunkard yet. Me? No, her. Oh, yeah, we know that that's what she's good at. <laughs> but I got to tell you something. Sierra's son is a smart fucking ass, okay? Just like his mother. So <laughs> the other day, he's at my, I'm his nanny, okay? So he's at my house. And Sierra is going to make a body form for me out of duct tape. You know, for like when you sew and you can use it as a form for your clothes. So I'm watching a tutorial. And her son comes up and says, Chacha, what are you doing? I said, oh, I'm, I'm watching something your mother's going to do to me. And he's looking at the skinny little model, and he said, Chacha, that's going to be a lot of work on you. <laughs> 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 you know what? You're right. <laughs> he just calls him like he sees him. Yeah, at the same time, though, he's laying on my fat arms rubbing my chubby, you know? So, you know, that's what he likes, so. Yeah, he is going to be a chubby chaser. Although I'm absolutely convinced he's going to like the chocolate variety of chubby. I think so too. Yeah, I'm going to have a little mocha mixed grandbabies. That's all right. I got those caramel frappuccino. (laughs) Yeah. That's good. So, so everybody have a great Christmas? Yes. It's very good. What did you guys do for Christmas other than pack to come to Vegas? Oh, basically we just went broke. That's pretty much. I understand. Whatever they had left is gone now. No, it's down the toilet, isn't it, from what I hear? Oh. It's all over Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> it's on a stripper, a cab ride. That's why people have to come back to Vegas more than once, because usually the first trip they don't remember at all. Oh, we have, we're have we missing time. No, I, I unfortunately remember all of it. I don't know how, but I do. I want to forget most of it. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah? Last night, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, they drank their way through Vegas yesterday. Uh, Not through it. We were at one end of it, and then we left the rest of it on the way home. <laughs> Wait, did I hear that you guys got kicked out of a Vegas cab? Yes, yes we did. Who gets kicked out of a Vegas cab? <laughs> Apparently me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do tell, do tell the story. You're going to have to tell it. You have all the details. Well, oh, God. Okay, so we went to... Oh, so this is the problem. So we went to see Zumanity last night. Oh, right? that's oh, a great sex up show. Yeah, 
right? Yeah. And uh, <laughs> so we let, and so we're like, okay, what do you want to do? And of course you're like, ah, oh, boobies, yeah, right? So we want to go to a strip joint. So Sienna told us, oh, let, go to Little Darlings. It's it's full nude. So we're like, all right, Little Darlings it is. We had the best cab drive in the world. Guy you could barely speak English, but he did a thousand miles an hour <laughs> to get to the strip joint. We get there and uh, it's the big sign, no alcohol. Oh, because it's 18. The fuck? What is that? Why do you have no alcohol? It doesn't make it's any full sense. Full nude. That's why. Yep. And? and well, it's full I, nude. <laughs> cannot have alcohol, sir. Oh, oh it's that's the. And that's, they and the weird. girls are 18. It's not 21. They got girls down to 18 in Little Darling. Oh. We should have stayed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I was <laughs> when I was in there, there was a girl so young. I, I turned like my, babies, don't I they? turned to my husband. I'm like, I want to take her to Justice Clothes Shop. <laughs> 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 I'm like, she's just so young. Well, so we walked in and we see the no booze sign, and we're like, oh, no booze. Okay, it's a flask. Strike one. Well, we didn't know that, and then um, the guy bouncer looks at us and, go, and goes, oh, it'll be sixty six dollars to get in, and we're like, I can't believe they charge two and three. You for carry? Usually, girls get in free to strip joints. Not on a Saturday night. Mm. Nope. So we turned around, and luckily our cab driver was still st- st- still outside. So we're like, he drove us to uh, to another strip joint. And you know, just topless, but booze, and uh, and too much booze. It didn't sound like you need. So so wait. So the kick it kicked out part of the cab driver came after the second after. strip. After right? the second, so we're at the second strip joint, and um, of course everything comes. They like double up. It's just the strippers are like, oh, Chuck, give them this, double up this, give them double up this, double up this. And so I don't even know what she was drinking. It had something floating in it, but it. Floating in it. Oh, uh, I just enjoyed cherries. Oh, no. Cherries. Oh, no. <laughs> cherries. Oh, no. <laughs> you could see, see the syphilis floating around in the kitchen. Oh, no. <laughs> you guys didn't hit up like a swing chip club? No. No? No. Not. Just no. Well, well we, we. No. <laughs> not, not this time. Vegas, everybody goes to the sex club once and they stand in the corner going, why did we do this? And then they go home. <laughs> No, the problem is, is that with as much as I was drinking last night, that isn't what would happen. <laughs> <laughs> so we uh, we got a uh, lap dance from the stripper that was kind of hanging out with us, and hmm. we had a couch up in this private room, and she's on my lap. And the next thing I hear, she's like, she "Call me Paul." First of all, <laughs> she's like, "Oh, Paul, ooh, Paul, you're doing." I'm like, "Who?" I go, "Who's Paul?" <laughs> I'm like, what? What stripper thinks of somebody? I mean, I've had, I'm sure a lot of women think of some other guy when they're with me, but really, can you get the stripper to get my name right? You know, I just paying her a hundred bucks. Or at least call you like Stud Muffin or Honey Babe. or something. Daddy. Daddy. <laughs> well, Daddy. <laughs> she didn't know. So, and all of a sudden, she's like, oh, Paul, oh, uh oh. And I'm like, what? And bam, there she is next to me. Ah. <laughs> and that was it. That was the end of the night. Bam. And it. it was uh it was half hour in the bathroom and then trying to drag her through the strip club, the strip club back down into a cab and we made it a block. <laughs> we made it like one block around the corner and she's like bah, bah, bah. And he's like, get out, get out, get out, get out. And like, I'm like, and so I'm looking at her and I'm like, I'm just about to like slide the door open and push her out. Because, uh, like, I don't want to be wearing this either. And then bam, next thing I know, we're on the side street, some side street in Vegas. And <laughs> not a safe not place a, to be. Not a single car anywhere. And I'm like, There's get up, get up. And she, she's like, she's like, I'm like, get up, get up. She's sitting all slumped over and she's like, I can't get up. And I'm like, I don't want to die here. <laughs> This is not where we want to die. So we, we ended up walking for a while, got another cab. She managed to make it. And then I don't remember anything from getting in the cab to this morning. Oh. I said, That's not true. I remember some yeah. things, but we're not going to talk about that. But uh, we, we wake up this morning, we have bottles of water. And she's like, where'd you get water? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the concierge at the Paris. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but then I've got funny. messages. I've got messages from the stripper going, "Hey, I came to your hotel room. I knocked on the door, and you guys didn't answer." I'm like, "Motherfucker, are you kidding?" <laughs> <laughs> stripper delivery. Yeah, right. Oh my <laughs> God, how funny. Yeah, uh, I, I said we were supposed to go to lunch today. I was going to take them downtown for lunch. I sent them a text about eleven. I figured they probably partied pretty hard. I figured eleven thirty'd be a good time to send a text. <laughs> right, right. So I sent a text, and I'm like, uh, "Good morning, princess," and he texts back some really indecipherable letter combination. <laughs> I said, why don't you get back with me once you get coffee? He said, okay. 
<laughs> That's what I say. It says, I texted her back, gurgle, 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 gurgle. <laughs> <laughs> you did. <Yeah. laughs> That's what, how we were feeling this morning. It was awful. And then I think lunch is out of the question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so this hasn't um, tarnished your plans to come to Vegas again, right? No. Oh, no, 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 no. Definitely. we got to no. come back here. That's right. We're fun. We yeah. Gotta, there's a couple of spots they missed downtown. <laughs> I, yeah, don't, right. I don't want to hit Spot that. she missed drinking or spot she meant missed relieving herself? Either or <laughs> both. The in-between stages. I can't imagine. Well, what sucks is that we're staying at Paris, so Paris is huge, right? Well, the, all the lobbies of these hotels are massive. Yeah. You walk in, and it takes you an hour to get to an elevator yeah. to your hotel room. And they're hidden. They don't like those elevators out where people can see them. They're back no. behind no, things. you're right. Yeah. I, I can't even imagine what we look like trying to walk through that lobby last night. <laughs> I have no idea because I, how she walked... I don't. I don't even know. You know I'm assuming I just. Why didn't you it. just um, ask for the bell cart and put her on there and just <laughs> pushed her up there? You might have. You just don't remember. I just don't. <laughs> I don't you guys remember. have made it, maybe made it there and like ha- drunkenly handed someone. I have heard stories. I had a friend who worked at the hotel front lobby one time, and most hotels, their bellman, if you just hand them their key, they can scan your key, find out what your room you're in, and they will take you up there. Really? If you're too drunk, uh, especially down on the strip. It's kind of like having, um, like you know, on New Year's Eve where they have like call a certain company and the cabs will come get you for yeah, free. Yeah. The bellman will take you up there for free. Yeah. Huh. I wonder how much you got to tip them for that. They probably charge it as little an extra gratuity. Work. little blowjob work. Yeah. For you probably. That's yeah. all I got. Yeah, I wasn't ready to, <laughs> to tip. Work with. I wasn't Blow that chunk drunk. Job. <laughs> And yeah. It was all I got to work with, you know? <laughs> there was nothing else going in my mouth. <laughs> 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 nope. <laughs> no Vegas sex last night, huh? At Surprisingly, yeah. Oh. I'll climb up on anything. I don't he, care. She'll uh, I, uh, <laughs> and he just Well, you know what? My, my theory is, is that you, sometimes you just got to put your ass in the air and be the vessel. That's exactly what I was a couple times. <laughs> the vessel. <laughs> I'm like, I, oh, she, I was getting, after what she put me through last night, I, there was no way I wasn't getting it. And there was no so. way I was saying no. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that technically date rape? Well, we're when married, married now. Well, I guess we're <laughs> not dating anymore, though. So. <laughs> like, no, she consented when she said I do, goddammit. <laughs> we put it in our vows. I made the kids go like this, la, 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 la. <laughs> And may you always put your ass in the air on command. Yeah. I do. I, I do. <laughs> Wait a minute. Why, do I, why am I reading that? <laughs> funny. So, um, Alexia, what did you do for Christmas? Hello? I don't have a mic. Yeah, no, why we're all out of mic. Why does she have a mic? Because we have a guest here. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even realize. Talk, talk okay. You know, yeah. I was wondering what the you hell know, she's doing our, over there. Our spare mic went missing. I'm Somebody. Doing, yeah, where's the I'm stand? I'm doing your social media. Leave me alone. Okay. <laughs> where's the stand mic we usually have? Some asshole took it for some remote somewhere, and they didn't bring it back. So it's locked in someone's office somewhere right now, I'm sure. Sierra, did you have a drama-free Christmas with your family? I had a an attempt. I would... We all tried very hard, but there was a lot of the... Tension? There was. And really? Yeah. It was just, well, first off, it was at my mom's house, so, you know, it was all smoke-filled. It was enjoyable. Um, <laughs> the cloying, choking smoke. Uh, I mean, they smoked out in the garage the whole time we were there, but they smoked clear up until the second we walked through the door in the living room. So, you know, my son spent, you know, two days hacking his freaking lungs out because... I knew that was going to happen, but, you know, I got really great things at Christmas. I had a really, really good Christmas, Santa-wise. Santa brought me a lot of good shit. Like what? I got the professional KitchenAid stand mixer so I can bake. I, I, I told Callie Guy, who was asking me about it today, I said, no, that, that stand mixer, that's not just, you know, making a cake. That's fucking baking. That's what that is. That's like with the arms pulled down and eyes squeezed touch. I mean, it's like, it's like the 80s hairband version of fucking Baking! <laughs> this it thing is a little to make her happy, you know. <laughs> this thing is massive. I mean, it's so it, it's got to weigh sixty pounds. Just the stand itself. Uh, I well, hear that a lot. Stay in the cupboard because I can <laughs> lift it out of the cupboard to put. No, it it's sitting cupboard. on top of my brand new standalone freezer that's in the kitchen. Oh. oh yeah. Look at that. You got a freezer for kitchen? A freezer for kitchen. A freezer for Christmas? Um, kind of, sort of. I got a freezer for... And I know you got a sewing machine. Gee, what are they thinking of you? They want you to fucking cook and sew for them. <laughs> Look, what, what year are we fucking in? Well, 
the first, first no, not the first Christmas, but the second Christmas we were together, he got me an iron, and he took a ton of shit for that, even though it was the exact iron I wanted. Yeah. I did get electric fry pan for Christmas. Did you? I did. I would love to get an electric I fry pan I wanted electric fry pan, so I can't yeah. say too much. I did get one. Yeah, I people people machine. know not to waste their money getting these stuff. Come on, cooking. Poxy, you know <laughs> you cook. No, any of that. <laughs> people what, know, what, don't what, waste What did hubby buy you for Christmas? <laughs> I got some purses. Purses? Yeah. Is that what you like? What kind All of right. purses? Coach. Coach, Ooh. woo. Okay. I am hubby jealous. Hubby did good. He's all right. He's, He's all right. Good. <laughs> did you give him some for it? Of course. There you go. There you go. I mean, it'd be different if it wasn't coach, you know. Oh, <laughs> you, if it wasn't coach, you only get part you of know, the, part of the thank yeah, you. Yeah, then it's iffy. Part of the thank you. Oh, God, that's funny. But, yeah, they don't even bother k- cooking stuff. Yeah. Do you eat out all the time? We do. Or I, <laughs> I cook, but I have just a very basic... Uh, Wait, what did you tell me? You tried to make a meatloaf in the crock pot once or something? I've done many stupid things. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can make a pretty decent meatloaf in a crock pot. I believe, you, well, I said, it didn't work. I said, Toxie, <laughs> Toxie, how can it go wrong when you have a recipe and you put it all in there exactly like the recipe and turn the thing on? I did a Christmas ham in the crock pot. You did? It was as dry as shit. <laughs> Like, How do you my do husband that? and daughter went to eat it, and they're like, mmm, this is, mmm. Not this good. Is good. Yeah. <laughs> this is, good try, Mom. Good try. And but I still, oh, I I still jacked it. How you jack up a crock pot, girl? I don't get that at all. I burnt myself. <laughs> on the crock pot? No, the, on the stove. I was trying to heat something up on the stove, but I burnt myself, and... Forget it. it. It's not worth it. You're a disaster. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I had, well, guess what we had for dinner on Christmas? Church's chicken. I made a, a sirloin strip roast. Oh, yeah. It was. It was. It was pretty good. I, I'm very proud of myself. It was the first time I, I cooked a sirloin strip roast. So it was pretty good. Well, I am. Um, you guys know you were at brunch. I made big brunch the day before Christmas Eve. I made five different kinds of cookies plus all of the food for brunch. So by the time we were done with brunch and everybody was gone from brunch about 2 o'clock, I'm like, hmm, Church's Chicken is open down the street. (laughs) Hell yeah. A little pollo loco? Well, my daughter had to work, so I was there with the grandkitties and, you know, we ate chicken and they rode their new bikes and scooters down the street and it was all good. As long as you're happy, as long as you went to bed with a smile on your face. I went to bed not exhausted, which was great, because <laughs> usually by Christmas night, like, I can't even freaking get my fat ass up in the bed, okay? Well, but that was not the case, so it was really nice. I'm happy with that. So we'll keep it that way. Right? Yeah. Oh... Alexia babysat for her niece and nephew and, and she napped. napped. This is kind of like you have laryngitis. <laughs> Look at okay. silent Alexia. Silent Alexia. Oh, that's so great. That's fabulous. Did you have a good day, though? Great day. Slept all day. Slept all day. That's good stuff. She doesn't want to even be on the microphone. Whatever, dude. It's, it's, it's too much work and noise to move it around. Oh. Is our, is she okay? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Should I go check on her? I don't. I, you don't know. No, I'll t- it I'll wouldn't t- be the first time someone's thrown up in the hallway of these studios. <laughs> which is kind of crazy. <laughs> okay. Oh, Wendy sent us. I don't know if we can pull that article up or not, but Wendy sent on Facebook um, about ten things we didn't know about orgasms. Yeah, the ten. Yeah, I. I can't pull it up on this computer, but number one. Well, do you know what's that an orgasm? Do you know that? <laughs> do you know that if a female pig is stroked while she is being artificially inseminated, that there's a six percent um, better chance, or having six percent chance of having, or six percent more babies will be born. Yes, I did know that. Did you know that? <laughs> no, I didn't. You stroke. You got to stroke your pig, <laughs> well, right? I always stroke my pig. You were out. Oh my God! I mean, uh, is that your job? Like, yeah. If, you, if you're a, if you're a pig um, uh, artificial inseminator, I guess you want to make sure that you could tell your competitor. You know, like advertising, I will make your pigs have ten percent more piglets because I stroke them. How does someone decide that's what they want to do? Oh, and there was video, Toxie. There was More video. More bacon. How, there's no choice here. You have and to stroke the, guy, the pig. And the guy, like, straddled this More big bacon. ass pig, and he's, like, <laughs> playing with their nipples and everything while it's she's being porn. inseminated. It was pig porn. He was on her backwards, like, humping her, stroking her old hanging nipples. 
Well, that explains. Uh, I'm not kidding. It's on <laughs> Facebook. Is that on our? Is that on our page? It's Mary Roach. Ten things you didn't know about orgasm. Can I play it? Uh, well, it's long. It's like ten minutes long. You can't play it, but um, if you haven't seen it, this thing is hysterical. Plus, it's copyrighted by TED Talks. I don't think we can play it on our well, show. Well, and Mary Roach is um, she's like a sex studier kind of thing. But did she go into the thing about orgasms and getting pregnant? If you're trying to have children, you shouldn't just be having sex. You should be having sex to orgasm, because when a woman orgasms, that actually What's the point of having sex if you don't orgasm. Don't there are many, many people who have sex. I just know. to have babies and they don't try to get to full orgasm. If a woman has an orgasm while her husband does too and they're trying to have a baby, you have a 10% more chance of having getting pregnant. Then I should have 85 babies. <laughs> the pig is getting all the comments. It was You see what I remember about the whole thing is the fucking pig. I'll repost it right now. Yeah, the, it's, it's, it's really good to watch. It's an easy watch. But yeah, this pig was getting stroked off. Uh, and you watched the whole 10 minutes of pig show. <laughs> yes. Like, I at can. no point were you like, I'm, I'm invading the pig's privacy. No, no, <laughs> Tati, it's for research away. purposes, okay? It's all for show research, okay? <laughs> all of it. All the porn I watch, <laughs> all the dirty shit porn I yeah, for all the, the dirty shit I look up on my computer is <laughs> all for the show. Yeah, yeah, this, it's <laughs> all for the show. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you look at our browser history, obviously my husband was doing research for the show too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, blame it on your husband's browser history and not your own. <laughs> I, I did. That. I did take my computer in one time, and I told the guys I brought it in. I'm like, I'm going to apologize. Whatever is on there is my husband. <laughs> <laughs> I do have chat. Superman says hi, Toxie. Hi, Superman. You know who Superman is? Uh, He's the one with the nipple rings and the Superman tattoo on his back. He's at the club. Been at the club the last week. You've probably you played with him. I don't Toxie, know. Is Toxie's he called? very popular at the club. She just doesn't know how tox popular she is. <laughs> it's her ass. She's not popular. Her ass is popular. Oh, it's beautiful. We'll yeah, have to have her true. show it. Uh, Wendy <laughs> says Mary Roach wrote a book called Bonk about sex and a book stiff about dead bodies. She did. Uh, thanks for sharing that, Wendy, because it was, it was very, very, very interesting. Who we got in chat? Uh, we have, uh, let me pull up the chat list right now. We have... Uh, God damn, there's a lot of people in there. We have Grumpy House, who found us by watching Animal Planet puppy videos on Ustream. How do you find puppy videos <laughs> and then send any bounds? I'm telling you, Giant Pussy. That's how I came across it. <laughs> <laughs> giant Pussy. I thought it was more like fat dogs or something. No. Uh, Ram Tax Prep. Yay. Superman, who has the nipple rings and the tattoo of Superman's emblem on his back. I see if I saw him, I bet I would know. You yes, probably you would. would. You would. Tie Zone, Vendetta. Hi, Vendetta. Vendetta. Yay. And Wendy of Neverland, the queen of Lesbos. Vendetta, are you flying in for our uh, 200th episode next week? Yeah, we need to invite these guys. We did. You know, Wendy spent her Christmas in Disneyland. We're not surprised by this. From the 24th till she just got back. Today. If Wendy could marry Mickey, she would. Okay. No, if Wendy could marry Minnie, she would. That's right. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's right. Maybe Daisy Duck. I'd like a little Pocahontas myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I don't know. Princess Leia is a Disney princess now, so could be a little Padme in there, too. Princess Leia? Yeah. Uh, Disney just uh, bought Star Wars last year. Oh. So uh, Princess Leia is now a Disney princess. You have any comments on that? No. <laughs> <laughs> What's your opinion, Roddy, on Disney princesses? <laughs> uh, hey, I love all the princesses. I really do. I get, you get you gotta go Ariel, top shelf, right? She has a fin. <laughs> you, get, you can get a little freaky with the flipper room. Really? Assuming. Where? Yeah. In her cloaca. Her cloaca. What? <laughs> Sorry. You know way too thing? much about fish parts. Yeah, the cloaca is <laughs> where... the cloaca? The cloaca is... That's when you you're stroking the pig. <laughs> <laughs> is that a fish clit? <laughs> no, it's for most... Most reptiles and fish have a... Uh, because of the way their bodies are designed, they cannot have external parts for peeing and pooping and sexing. So it's all tucked up inside a, a pocket usually called the cloaca. Now, when they get aroused or have to pee, does that cloaca open? Yes. And come out? Like, yes. like lipstick if you go, if on you a go, dog? Uh, no, but if you go watch some old videos of Steve Irwin, you know, jumping on top of crocodiles, right. he sticks his finger up their cloaca <laughs> to find out if they're male or female. It's hilarious. Oh... No, wait, well, I ain't sticking my finger up no animal, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. you'll rub a pig's nipples. 
No, only with the rubber glove on my hand. <laughs> but he didn't have, he put his finger in there, was like trying to find her like G-spot or something. And then he had no glove on and then he's rubbing her nipples and he's humping her back. I'm like, fuck me. Like. Makes you wonder, like, is this somebody's husband? Does <laughs> <laughs> he practice at home? <laughs> Honey. He washes hands before he comes home. That's the thing. He's doing this without gloves on. Honey, why are you still thinking? Wait, it, makes, it makes me wonder if he likes fat chicks. Ooh, yeah. Maybe he's married. If you're in bed at night and he like tries a new move, are you like, did you try that on the pig? <laughs> <laughs> Where did that come from? Well, it worked on Sally the sow. <laughs> That's awesome. That's funny. I don't know. You guys need to watch a video. The pig was getting stroked, though. I had a friend who used to breed French bulldogs. Uh huh. And they anatomically can't have sex because really? because they're interbred, so they can't physically have sex. So he used to have to jerk the dog. Wait, wait off. their penises don't go in. Don't the... reach. No, they can't reach. Oh, it's like position wise. Yeah, they work. Yeah, because the vaginal opening over time has well, been tucked up do, under well, the yeah. dog. What if you taught them to do missionary? <laughs> but I gotta tell you, that dog saw that red cup coming, and he was all over it. He could be in a room full of bitches in heat and wouldn't care less. Wouldn't he saw care, the little wait, red cup coming, and he knew he was gonna get jerked does, off. And... Um, does, <laughs> does not, that's, so horrible. that's why to this day I can't I can't go down the aisle where there's solo cups. <laughs> <laughs> Don't serve him his beer in a red cup. Clean up, right? clean up on aisle. But time. I have a question for you though. <laughs> Like, if he's got all these bitches in heat in the room, is it is he trying to hump them? No. No interest in humping. No them. interest. That is... I need to read more about animals humping, I think. I think, I think we've we? learned quite enough. Yeah. <laughs> Wendy says, you know... There Research, was, Rodney. Research. <laughs> Wendy says there was a lot more stuff on the video than the pig stuff. I know, but the pig's the one I remember the most. No, <laughs> the whole video is good, but the pig kind of had me uh, uh, going back and watch it again and going back again. <laughs> so not only were you watching pig porn, you were re-watching pig porn. <laughs> it was re research, okay? I'm telling you guys. Research, <laughs> all research. Yeah. You ever see a horse cock? Oh. <laughs> it was in the name of research for this show that I found the pictures of my ex husband dressed up as a furry with his cock laying out on his thigh. <laughs> I swear to God. Sweet Cheeks is usually not speechless, but <laughs> I was like, Your ex? My ex husband, yeah. Husband? Yeah. Can't it we was get him great. on the show? Hell. That bitch can't even pay his alimony, let alone get him in here on the show. <laughs> oh, well, you don't have to pay nothing to get in here. I'll you but goddamn bet you're right he does. He owes me $20,000. <laughs> that fucker's not stepping foot back in Nevada without a check in his hand. <laughs> oh, a furry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what if he I comes in a full furry, furry costume? <laughs> huh? What if he comes in a I full furry costume? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody have a check. I do all these things I'm, I shouldn't really be doing. <laughs> For research. What mm -hmm. kind of a furry? <laughs> Uh, he and he had pointy ears and paws, so maybe a kitty cat. I don't know. Oh, a cat! Well, he was a pussy. Well, he was a pussy. He, and he was looking for a dominant female. He's a big pussy. Yeah, that's probably why we're not together anymore. <laughs> right. Yeah. People think that you're a kind of dominant person, but in a relationship, you're not. No, I'm not. I'm obviously not. And obviously, not. with her family, she's not. Obviously not. I got a stand mixer and a sewing machine for Christmas. So <laughs> <laughs> did they take your shoes away so you could be barefoot and pregnant in the kitchen? I'm almost always barefoot when I'm in the kitchen. <laughs> pregnant, not very much. So. Oh, I have to tell you guys that my catch up today has video clips attached to it. Ooh, <laughs> dirty fucking whore. I am a major hoe. <laughs> <laughs> she gets paid for it. I believe they're safe enough to put up on Facebook. Oh, exactly. We're allowed to. Oh, we are. We're allowed. To, those are promo clips. It's only a teeny part of the full clip. So absolutely, you can put them up. Put them on our YouTube. Page. You can do that. You can do that. <sighs> I got permission to do all that. Kelly guy says, "Sweet cheek says you had me at pig stroking." <laughs> <laughs> Now, I don't want to fuck no pig, and I don't want to feel a, a pig's G-spot, but to watch, it's it's very interesting search. <laughs> it's foreplay. <laughs> oh, no, not foreplay. It's pork play. It's pork play. Oh, God, Rodney, pork play. <laughs> Rodney's next book is going to be like, How I Survived the Curvaceous Bounty. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving Las Vegas. <laughs> so before we take our, our, our break here, um, give us a little bit of um, um, insight as to um, what you got for us today, Rodney. Oh, I brought you guys... Um, 
I brought you guys some books so you can do some giveaways on your uh, 200th epi- yeah. episode. Congratulations, by the way. That's Thank pretty you. awesome. So I brought a book for your give- uh, giveaway. I've got three. And they're autographed. They're all autographed. Um, oh, i got to autograph the good book. But I've got two bookmarks and three lithograph covers. And we're going to talk about your book when we come back. Fantastic. You got Yay. it. You have been listening to the Curvaceous Bounty of Sin City on VegasAllNetRadio.com. Don't go away. we got lots coming up. 